Hey guys, I wanted to make this video on my HGH journey three weeks in, roughly 20 days, three weeks into my, uh, into takes, first starting taking it. And what I'm taking is a pharmaceutical grade Omnitrope by Sandoz. And uh, what I take is, what I started taking was, if you watch my other videos, was a subcutaneous dose of <clears throat> 1.75 IUs at nighttime. And uh, the reason for that is the vials come in 17.5. So I figured I'll make it uh, like 10 doses, right? At that, at that uh, range. And I was gonna do it five days a week, but I've, the more I researched, I'm now doing it every day. And also the more I, I'm looking into it, uh, I'm doing half of 1.75. So that's like 0.8 roughly in the first thing in the morning and then 1.75 at night. And uh, I started doing it just subcutaneous in the belly fat there. And, uh, but I started changing it up into different subcutaneous zones and also doing it intermuscular, only so far in the bicep or in the delt, both sides. And uh, so I'm I wanna change it up a little bit, different injection sites, not just sticking to the one belly fat, because uh, I talked to this one guy, I don't know how knowledgeable he is, but uh, he took a program that where essentially they, they injected people, like he learned that. So I was uh, asking him about uh, subcutaneous injections and he said to, to rotate it. So uh, that's probably a good idea if you're doing it, to rotate, don't just inject in the same spot. But maybe you can too, maybe you can do that and there'll be no problem, although, uh, then there's also, I looked into the difference between subcutaneous injection and intermuscular. And apparently, I, I, did, I, reach, I read a research article that when you inject it intermuscularly, intermuscularly uh, your body doesn't build resistance as easy to it. Now, who knows how, how more, much more significant that is. Uh, a lot of people who do it, do it subcutaneous. And I think, and it worked for me, like I could feel the effects. And, just so saying after my three weeks on it, then my noticeable effects are, first of all, if you've watched my other videos, I talked about an ankle and knee injury. It seems to be pretty good. When I, before when I was uh, doing squats, my left knee uh, would, the, like the inner part of it, the medial side, uh, which were the, where the menisci is injured, would give me issues. Now I can still feel it, still there, but I don't think it's giving me the same issues. I could just be subjective, like uh, my, like a, like almost like a placebo effect or something, but I don't think so. And also the uh, my old injury in my ankle seems to be doing okay. That's not gonna be any issue, so that's good. Um, what else do I notice? I think in the gym, this could just be again kind of anecdotal. It is anecdotal. Uh, a little bit more. Um, energy and get more reps in, maybe. The only reason I can think of that is uh, what HGH does, or maybe the, it's the growth factor, I believe, is it brings more amino acids into the muscle. So I think it's be able to utilize it more. Um, what else? Maybe my muscle's a little bit more like f f solid. I wouldn't say like hypertrophied or anything like that. Although I've been working out more, so I believe they're they are getting pretty Hypertrophy, like when I compared to normally, I've been working out for about four months now, so I'm making some gains, which is good. And I hope that, uh, and I think th actually, I, sh I should mention that I think maybe my recovery is a little bit better. Again, it's like maybe just a little bit. So I don't know, it could just be me imagining that. Um, what, what I found HGH does is, first of all, the science behind it, it, uh, brings your blood sugar levels up. So especially when you do it in the morning, and I noticed when I, t uh, when I didn't know this like, as, as well, that when I did that, then I eat some like, a bunch of like carbs or something, which carbs you break down to sugar. Like I know it's like a big spike in like energy and things, which kind of can be good in, in some regards, but you don't want your energy, you don't want like your blood sugar to go through the roof, right? So that's one thing to be careful about. That's why I only do like a half shot. Like first thing in the morning when on an empty stomach, you're supposed to do it on empty stomachs for that reason. 
and uh, people, who, bodybuilders who take it, I've been reading up on this, uh, take insulin when they eat, and, then it, and also insulin has kind of a symbiotic effect, Well, I'm probably not gonna take insulin with this. Although, if you do or know anything about it, leave in the comments below. Um, what else should I mention? Oh yeah, just some kind of like minor tinglies. Like some people notice, mention that they get like uh, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. I don't, like I haven't got that by any means, but sometimes when I'm like sleeping or something, uh, maybe my hand feels like it's been falling asleep a little bit. Nothing crazy, maybe there's a little bit of fluid retention in in that joint, so it's causing like my medial nerve to compression, a slight compression or not. And I noticed kind of a feeling in my toes. I don't know what that, if that's anything. I'm just trying, I'm just noticing, I'm just noting all of the uh, effects. And this to share with you guys and uh, somebody here at Coach Drew. Uh, so if you're watching this, like the, I'll, I'll respond this to you. I want to make a response to you. Uh, he's three weeks in, so roughly the same time as me, and he's using generic stuff. And uh, he's getting irritated lumps on my stomach, on his stomach and injection sites. Starting to freak him out, itchy and sore. Uh, I get, after injection, maybe a little bit of an itch. It gets a little bit of redness and slight soreness. Like I took a, now I don't think, like uh, about 20 minutes ago. I don't think you really see anything. But maybe my advice would be to, for him, and I'm, again, I'm no expert on this by any means, but like to change uh, injection sites. Like look online, Google, uh, subcutaneous injection zones and kind of how to rotate it or do what I'm doing and kind of I've done the shoulders for the last few days intermuscular like I just checked I go on a slight angle in, into the delt the actual like delt muscle and that's what I've been doing but I'm gonna switch it up I'm probably gonna shoot in my ass uh, in the next uh, next round or in my quads and then maybe go back to my uh, belly fat kind of I feel like that would be more of a holistic way of doing it. So, and you don't know really, like, if you keep injecting it in the same location, you might there might be damaging to uh, capillaries. Although, here's something to, to keep in mind, uh, Coach Drew, and like this is just speculation on my part, but what HGH does is it dissolves fat also, right, lipolysis. So if it's starting to cause bumps and things I don't know maybe maybe not maybe it's something maybe it's not maybe there's uh, something going on there just be mindful of it and maybe get your get it tested if you think that it's it's not good stuff um, other than that I don't know what else to say you know I would look I would recommend looking at different forms and things uh, but my advice to you is just change injection sites um, also, he's taking 1.5. I use just a one shot. I heard somebody say don't take more than two at a time, so maybe spread that into twice throughout the day. Again, maybe you can do 2.5 and they'll be totally okay too. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I only do 1.75 at most, and then I do that 0.8 in the morning at 1.75 at night. So I'm kind of so I, I'm, I don't know. This is just my philosophy. I'm kind of experimenting it too, but. Uh, some guys who were, who were doing it bodybuilding, they take only two at a time. And uh, yeah, so to be mindful about that. And maybe just look, in, just look into it yourself. Like, um, again, like I'm just sharing what I know about it and it's, it's a relatively new journey for me. So thank you for uh, joining me on my journey. And uh, three weeks in, I feel pretty good though, so far, and I'm gonna continue it. And uh, for at least, I'm thinking three months. We'll see. Three months, maybe four, maybe five. No. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, if I can afford it, fuck, you know, it's just expensive. And maybe I'll, and maybe I'm gonna switch to. Like I paid fifteen hundred for uh, ten vials at seventeen point five. I use per vial. So, like that might last me like, I don't know, at this rate. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up doing a little bit more, bump it up a little bit more. But I, th I think right now I'm on, I'm on a good dose level because of that blood sugar level. Like I feel it in the day. Like if, even if I take that point f half of the like 0 0.8 in the morning, like I feel a spike in my levels. Uh, one time I took uh, 1.75 in the morning and it was a definite feeling. I went to school, I was like, I felt high 
almost. Uh, but that's also because I, I think I ate a lot of uh, sugary food and drank coffee and did pre-workout and, and other things as well. Um, yeah, and if anybody's watching this or Coach Drew or anybody and wants to share more of their own research or their own journey, please, I think this is great uh, that people, especially somebody who's, who's pretty much on the same uh, level as me, he says he's 40, 40 years old, 6'1", six, six, 205, I'm roughly the same weight, uh, two years younger than you. So it's, yeah, he's taken uh, the same, <clears throat> same, uh, relatively the same level as me so it'd be interesting to hear more of your your journey all right well thanks for watching have a good night everyone peace